Hi, yeah. <coughs> I'm Black Bright, broadcasting of the UK, right into your homes. Welcome to my channel. And if you like it, why not think about subscribing? Or you might want to see a few more before you decide to do that. You're under no pressure. Um, if you do like the if you do like the video, please click on the thumbs up. And if you think it's a bit dodgy, not quite right, put the thumbs down. And if you think it's useful for someone else, share it. And for my existing subscribers, thank you for your support. As always, without you, um, I wouldn't have this channel. So thank you. Um, today's video is for the small businesses or the self-employed and anybody who's going to do business with Brexit, really. Um, it's just a new business um, law technicality that needs to be sorted out and you need to complete. You may or may not know it. If you've got business insurance, they probably um, informed you of it. But if you haven't, you may not know. And it's good for those who might be thinking about setting up a business with the EU to know what it is that you're going to need. Otherwise, you can't trade and they can't trade with you. So um, you're going to need an EIO, EORI. Ooh. That sounds weird. It sounds like the A-E-I-O-U, doesn't it? But it's the E-O-R-I number. Um, if you buy from an EU-based supplier or sell to an EU-based customer, you'll need to abide by the new import and export regulations that take, take effect the date we leave the EU. Whether it's January or whenever, this is going to take effect regardless. You'll need to apply the customs and excise and VAT processes that previously only apply to goods and services traded outside the EU to the goods you sell into the EU. And EU-based businesses you buy from will have to apply the customs, excise and VAT processes they previously reserved for trade with non-EU customers. So you're almost like a foreigner, basically. Whereas we had that free trade, we could just do things indiscriminately. You can't do that anymore. You're going to be treated like an outsider, basically. Um, the HMRC has automatically applied the EORI numbers to some UK businesses in readiness for Brexit. Now, what is an EORI number? Well, it's an Economic Operator Registration and Identification, or as they call it, EORI number, which will allow you to import and export physical goods after Brexit. You won't be able to trade with other countries, including those in the EU, without one. So it's important. If you try to trade without one, you may have to deal with delays and storage costs if M HMRC cannot clear your goods. There's one exception to this rule, which is trade between Northern Ireland and Ireland. You won't need an EORI number to buy and sell between these two countries. If you're VAT registered, you may be one of the 88,000 businesses that tax that the taxman has already written to you with your EORI number. So, yeah, I guess if you're VAT registered, you know, that means you've got a lot of income. So they've already told you about it. This is really for the little people, the small businesses, the um, sole traders, that kind. Of, they may not be informed. Um, so if you're not set up for VAT, you won't receive your number automatically, but you'll still need one if you want to trade outside the UK. Your EORI number will be 12 digits long, start with GB, and if you're VAT registered, it will include your VAT registration number. For those of you who do not know what VAT is, it's VAT, Value Added Tax. How do I get my EORI number, you may ask? You can apply for your EORI number at gov.uk oblique EORI. Don't try to get it from any other source. It's also the place to check the status of an application and contact NHMRC if you have any questions. 
having the following information to hand before you start the five to ten minute application process should make for a smoother experience. VAT number and effective date of registration, which is on your VAT registration certificate. National insurance number, if you're an individual or a sole trader. Unique ta taxpayers reference, the UTR, I can never find mine. Um, business start date and standard industrial classification, SIC code, in the company's house register. And also the government gateway, user ID and password. So you're going to need all of that before you start applying for it. It can take up to five working days to receive your number. Um, and your Brexit preparation checklist is the tax authority has put together a checklist for businesses to help them get ready for when the UK leaves the EU. So you need to get your EORI number, get the right customs forms. You'll need to speak specialist advice for that. Check the Brexit import and export guidance on gov.uk. And steps for importing after Brexit. Register for simplified import procedures to get extra time to submit your customs documentation. Check the customs duty you'll need to pay. Apply for an online account to simplify paying your customs and excise duties. This All this information was taken from Simply Business. And I'll put the link in below. Steps for exporting after Brexit. Check with your post office, courier or haulier to find out if they need extra information from you. Check the people you're selling to are ready to bring your goods into their country, are following their country's customs processes and are ready to send you the relevant paperwork. For example, the import declaration. And that's about it. Short and sweet after those other two long videos. And that's all for now. I hope you found it useful. Bye-bye.